Getting your chips into the breadboard for the first time can be a little bit tricky. So placed right, they should straddle this middle divider on the breadboard, and they should be in the first row adjacent to that middle divider. And naturally, the pins are a little bit splayed out and not vertical. And so if you just try to jam it in, it will tend to bend the pins and not fit in very well. So the first thing you want to do when you just pull your chips out of their package is to squeeze the leads together just a little bit. So you can just do this with your fingers, or sometimes it's easier to put the whole thing down on a flat surface and gently bend it in until the pins are vertical. Okay, once that's done, then you should be able to pop it right into place on the breadboard and push it all the way down. Getting the chip out can also be a challenge. Um, we can do the same sort of thing that we did with the FPGA um, by reaching in and then using sort of a lever action with your fingers to pull it out. Um, again, like that. And again, it's very important that you don't pick up one end of it because you'll bend the pins that way. We've also got special tools used for removing ICs. So this is just called an IC puller. And it's designed so you can reach under the chip and then squeeze and gently rock, and it should just pop the chip right out. You don't really want to use pliers, um, but occasionally you can use something if you have to, to reach under, to pry gently underneath one end or the other. And again, you don't pry too far so you don't bend the pins. As long as you're careful, yeah, your chips will last for plenty of uses, putting them back in and out of the board. Um, but if you do bend up the pins, often with a pair of pliers you can get those straightened out as long as you've only done it once.